is he these are this is his claim about what african how africans in our traditional contexts thought about time the first category category a is potential time and actual time and i'll read this in 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 some depth here <laughs> yeah the question of time this is jarring listen to this the question of time is of little or no academic concern to African peoples in their traditional life. For them, time is simply a composition of events which have occurred, those which are taking place now, and those which are inevitably or immediately to occur. What has taken place now and those which are inevitably or immediately to... Oh, sorry, I just repeated that. What has taken place or what has no likelihood of an immediate occurrence falls in the category of no time. What is certain to occur or what falls into the rhythm of natural phenomena is in the category of inevitable or potential time. The first thing I want to just say is that's the claim. That's the, that's the claim I'm like, whoa, basically, you know, the Africans have no interest in the future and i'll carry on because he he says it here look at this look, listen to this i kind of find this a little bit offensive if i'm honest <laughs> but um and it's probably not even true the most significant consequence of this is that according to traditional concepts time is a two-dimensional phenomenon in the african traditional context what uh where are we? Sorry. Time to, yeah. So it, there's a long past, a present, and virtually no future. The linear concept of time in Western thought with an indefinite past, a present, and an infinite future is practically foreign to African thinking. 